Hi Chris. How is the poster coming along for class? Great. Want to see? Isn't it awesome? Um, yeah. You might want to rethink that. Really? My five-year-old loved it. Don't you remember what our instructor said? Not really. I kind of tuned out after she said poster presentation. She said that you need to include statistics, images, graphs, and make sure to cite it all using APA for matting. Well, I guess that means I need to revise a bit. So I can just go to Google and get a bunch of images, right? Not so fast. Google is great for some things. But I think we are going to need to be careful about where we get our information to make sure it is accurate. Sure. So what do you suggest? Why don't we let the librarian tell us about some cool resources to use? Okay, but my daughter is going to be really disappointed. She helped me draw this. Yeah, I can tell. Hi, my name is Andrea Cohn and I'm a librarian at Harrison College. Let's look at some great resources for finding images, statistics, and graphics to add to your poster presentations. One really important thing to keep in mind while looking for resources is copyright. Sure, you could go to Google Images and locate some resources, but you have to remember that many of those images have copyright terms that don't permit reuse. So where can you go to find good images that you know are okay to use? One place where you can find free images that you can use is creativecommons.org. Just scroll until you find the Explore box and click Find CC Licensed Works. CC is the abbreviation for Creative Commons, so anything that has a Creative Commons license can be used as long as you credit the source. Enter your search terms in the box at the top and then click on one of the following options, Flickr, Photopedia, Google Images, or OpenClip Art Library. When you find an image you want to use, click on it so that it opens in a larger window. Right-click on the image and choose the size you'd like to copy, medium or large is fine, and click on that size. Right-click on the new size you've just chosen and choose Copy Image. Open Word and paste the image into your new document. Resize as necessary. Hit the back button on your browser to get back to the initial image so you can copy down the citation information. To cite your work in APA, use this format. Now let's talk about another great place to find images and also reliable statistical information. WolframAlpha.com is a computational search engine that helps you find statistical data for many different topics. Let's try a search for poverty in Fort Wayne. After you enter your search, Right-click on the data image you want to include in your poster and choose Copy Image. Open Word and paste the image into your new document, resizing it as necessary. Next, make sure to cite your work using this pattern. The next tool you can use for great statistical information and images is Credo Reference. Locate Credo Reference by going into the LRC webpage, www.harrison.edu slash LRC and click on the All Databases tab. Navigate to Credo Reference and log in with your student credentials. Let's search for poverty rate. Just enter your terms into the Search For box and click on Search. On the left-hand side of your page is the navigation bar. Click Options under Media. Click the title of the image you'd like to look at. And if it's a keeper, right-click to copy it and then paste it into your Word document. Make sure to cite your image. Credo Reference makes this super easy by providing APA citations for their resources at the bottom of their articles. Just copy and paste it and you're good to go. Okay, let's move on to finding infographics. Infographics are these great little bundles of images and statistics all wrapped up into a neat graphical picture. If you go to google.com slash images, you can search for infographics on your topic. For example, let's enter Poverty Infographics. Clicking on the infographic will take you to the source page. Caution! Make sure you're using infographics that cite their sources. Otherwise, how do you know they aren't just making it up? Also, you have to make sure to cite your infographics. Try to take them from .gov or .org sites if possible. 
Simply cite them as you would any other image, making sure to put infographics as a type of image, like in this example. Remember, if you ever have any questions, please stop by the library or contact a librarian at harrison.librarian at harrison.edu. Thank you.